this on your truck and the buzzer is actually sounding off. And you also have the stop engine. My laptop is telling me that my DPF is filled up. It's filled up to 100% and I cannot do any type of regen. I tried to force a regen, but it will not take. So I'm going to pull down DPF filter. So what we have here, I'm going to use a 7-8 wrench to remove these two lines. And then I'm going to use an 18 millimeter to remove the lines behind it. Along with this line here. Again, we're going to use a 7-8 wrench. And I just want you to know that you can't actually get these lines crossed up because this line here is a little smaller than this one here. We're gonna use an 18 millimeter to break these lines loose. And we have this line here. Just in case you cannot bring the line all the way up, don't worry about it because once you loose the, the unit and we move it down, you know, just have it loose enough that it would actually just easy to remove once we lower down the unit. And we have one here on the back. We can pull that on out. So we have two more fitters back here in the back. And you can use a 22 millimeter or a 7 8 wrench. This one. Now, if it's a little difficult, just take some penetration spray and spray it. And just let it sit for a little while. This fit in here, we're going to use a 15 16. I like to use a box in, a line wrench. And again, there's no way that you can actually cross these lines up. That's what I like about it. All right, we have those sensors removed. Then we're back in the front. We want to use an eight millimeter. Oh, you can use a 516. That's what I have here. And we're gonna remove these bolts from the bracket. That's holding on our sensor. Now we're on the other side of the DOC. We have this bracket disconnected. Now we're going to disconnect this bracket. Then we're on the right side, on the very top. Then we loosen up on this bracket. We have both brackets release from the filter. 
Let's see, we're gonna remove our holes. They are mounted on a garment and we're just gonna pry up on them. We're going to remove our clamp for our zones. We need a 15 millimeter. Just gonna spray a little lubricant here. Just to make it a little easy to uh, remove the exhaust. Need a lab a millimeter or a 716 ratchet or socket. And we're gonna remove the front clamp. All right, we got two straps we're gonna remove. We have one here. And we actually have one down here. And we're gonna need a 13 millimeter. So we have two clamps that's actually holding the muffler in place. Right now I'm gonna use a transmission jack because this unit is very heavy. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna loosen this pipe here. So we're gonna go all the way down the exhaust pipe. And we're gonna loosen it right here. These two nuts need a 15 millimeter. We're gonna remove them so we can have some flexibility on the tailpipe. I make sure we have all our fitness free. We should be able to pull them out now. Now I can get to this unit here. Couldn't get to it before. We need a 10 millimeter to remove these bolts. It's on the very top. It's a lot easier to do it once you drop the uh, the unit down halfway. So we actually only have three 10 millimeter bolts to remove. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna separate the unit. So we're just going to use a 13 millimeter. The first part we just moved was the uh, catalytic converter and it looks pretty decent. It's not cracked up. Now if it was cracked up, uh, look at buying a new catalytic converter. I believe we're pretty good here. Looks pretty decent. We can have that cleaned up. The next item we're gonna remove is the DOC. And I don't know about this, but with the price, the price is going to cost about $5,500, so I'm going to take my chance and 
have it clean, even if I had to pay someone to tell me it needs to be clean. I mean, it needs to be replaced. I'm just gonna take my chance. I'm not gonna jump up and buy a $5,500 unit and I can pay $300 to have it clean. If your laptop is telling you that your DPF is full, chances are it's gonna be your DOC. It's gonna be this unit right here. And it's the most expensive one. <laughs> That's all it takes to remove your system out of your truck. And if your laptop tells you that your DPF is full, chances are it's gonna be your DOC. Now, keep in mind that if your DOC is cracked up, the honeycomb is cracked up, uh, chances are you're gonna to have to replace it. But if it's not, mine's, mine's isn't, and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope that the system can be cleaned. That's a whole lot cheaper and it can get me by. Stay tuned for part two as we put the system back together and find out what caused this system to actually get clogged up. Most likely it's probably EGR port, which we will cover that on the next video of part two. Take care and God bless.